Emily here from Small Stuff Counts. I am so excited to show you around my latest organizing project today. We are tackling all things kitchen organization right now and I am working on our kitchen one drawer and one cabinet at a time. My whole goal, goal is to maximize our storage space, add a lot more functionality, and make things a little bit more pretty in the process. So today's video is all about one of my biggest struggles in this kitchen and that is where and how to best store our baking ingredients and supplies. So we are gonna show you what I came up with today. This video is a part of the DIY Mommies January Organizing Challenge. So when you get done watching this one, go to the link below and I'll link to the whole playlist of challenge participants so you can see all of the organizing projects that they've been up to. So we're tagging all things baking ingredient organizing today and this is a good one. This kitchen is, I would say, a very average size kitchen for an American house. Um, we've got a decent amount of cabinet space, but we do not have any type of um, full-size pantry cabinet or definitely not a walk-in pantry in this house. So we are working with limited cabinet space. I won't complain too much because I know it could be a lot worse, but one thing that I found when we moved in two years ago is that the upper cabinet space was prime real estate and that meant that our baking supplies like our flours and sugars got the boot to a lower cabinet. We don't do a lot of baking in this house so it just made sense to not let them take up like a whole cabinet of prime real estate. So our baking ingredients ended up living in a lower cabinet in our kitchen island. I actually really like the location in the island because when we do bake cookies or something, we almost always spread things out on the kitchen island. I can get my two-year-old up here to help me out and we can spread everything out with our KitchenAid mixer. So it's a great workspace, but these builder grade lower cabinets leave a lot to be desired in the storage department with just one of those little half shelves. Like why don't they make that a full depth shelf? I will never know. Things were always falling out. I could never really get to what I needed. They were just kind of piled in this cabinet and I would close the door and hope for the best. So it was about time to figure out a solution to make this a little bit less annoying every time I open the door. So I'm gonna show you around today and show you all the solutions that I came up with for making a lower cabinet work for organizing our baking ingredients. And yes, I will show you some close-ups of the pretty new containers and organizers that I use for this cabinet and all of the pretty DIY labels I made as well. Once I emptied everything out of the cabinet and sorted through it, I installed this really handy pull-out tray in the bottom of the cabinet, and then I moved all of my baking ingredients into these really nice storage containers from the container store. They make everything so neat and tidy, and they're stackable, and I love the three different sizes. I added pretty labels using my Cricut Maker cutting machine to really kind of customize things and make them look all neat and organized in the cabinet. It's crazy to think what a few little improvements can do to completely transform a messy cabinet into a really functional baking zone. I am so inspired to bake now and I've never been a big baker. This is a project that anyone could do in their kitchen and I hope that you'll give it a try. <laughs> 